Sending British troops to Ukraine cannot be ruled out, former UK Defence Secretary. Former UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace has called for cross-party commitment to a 3% GDP minimum defence spending level. He suggested that sending British troops to Ukraine cannot be ruled out, according to the Daily Mail. Wallace believes that Britain cannot wait for economic improvements to increase funding for the armed forces. I would like really to campaign across the House to make sure that main parties realise the dangers we face and that it should be in their manifestos the former defence minister said in a comment to Times Radio. He also believes that it cannot be ruled out that British troops may need to be sent to Ukraine to counter Russia. We should use that phrase, we cannot rule them out. I mean, ultimately, part of deterrence is ambiguity, keeping the adversary guessing about how far we would go and what we would do, Wallace said. He noted that this is what Putin does masterfully. He makes everyone speculate. And I think the best thing is to make sure he realizes we think what he is doing in Ukraine is very, very serious. I think President Putin, and we just saw that from the sham election, is the closest to Adolf Hitler we've had in this generation, the former official said. Earlier on March the 9th, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron stated that Britain is against sending Western troops to Ukrainian territory, even to train Ukrainian soldiers, as they would become targets for Russia. Media reported that the current British Defence Minister Grant Shapps cancelled a trip to Odessa during his visit to Ukraine on March the 7th due to the Russian missile threat. At the end of February, French President Emmanuel Macron did not rule out sending Western troops to help Ukraine. According to Politico, France is currently assembling an alliance of countries that are open to sending troops to Ukraine, for example, to demine the territory. Ukraine running out of air defense missiles, cities become vulnerable. Ukraine has told its Western backers that munitions for some of its air defense systems could be almost used up by the end of March, the Washington Post has reported, citing U.S. officials. According to the sources, representatives of Kiev made the warning during a secret conference last month, the paper wrote in an article. Ukrainian forces, which previously managed to shoot down four out of every five missiles fired by Russia, may soon be able to target only one in five, one of the officials claimed. The lack of air defense missiles is going to have a significant effect on life in Ukraine's urban centers, the source said. Russia has been carrying out a large-scale missile and drone campaign against Ukrainian military targets, defense industrial complex facilities, and critical infrastructure since the fall of 2022. Russia Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said previously that the aim of the attacks was to crush Ukraine's military potential. The Defense Ministry in Moscow said that a US-supplied Patriot air defense system had been destroyed by Russian forces in Ukraine's Kharkov region. Last week, it published a video of a successful strike on a Soviet-era S-300 air defense system deployed by Ukraine in Russia's People's Republic of Donetsk. The U.S. officials who talked to the Washington Post warned of catastrophic breakdown of Ukrainian lines in the grimmest contingency and the likelihood of massive casualties in the best if Kiev does not get more military assistance from Washington. The administration of U.S. President Joe Biden has been trying to push through another 60 billion U.S. dollars in assistance for Ukraine since October last year, but has so far been unable to break the resistance of hardline Republicans who are demanding increased funding to secure the border with Mexico. Putin scares world with World War III in the event of conflict between Russia and NATO. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said after the country's elections that should there be a conflict between Russia and NATO, the world would be one step away from World War III. Putin's response to the question of whether a full-scale conflict between Russia and NATO is possible? I think that everything is possible in today's world. However, the Russian president said it is unlikely anyone would be interested in this. It is clear to everyone that Russo-NATO conflict 
would be just one step away from a full-scale World War III, he added. The Russian president has said that it is no secret that fighters from NATO states are present on the ground in Ukraine, arguing that these service members are facing extremely grim prospects. Speaking to his supporters and the media after his presidential election victory, Putin stressed that Moscow is well aware of calls in the US-led military bloc to potentially deploy troops to Ukraine. We hear both French and English speech there. There is nothing good in this. First of all for them, because they die there and in large numbers, he said. French President Emmanuel Macron suggested last month that the West cannot exclude the possibility of sending soldiers to aid Ukraine. He later described Russia as an adversary, insisting, however, that Paris is not waging war on Moscow. Commenting on Macron's remarks, Putin noted that while NATO troops in Ukraine are expected to act as an auxiliary force helping Kiev train its military, this is not much different from what mercenaries are doing there now. Russia, he added, wants France not to escalate the conflict but to help find a peaceful solution to hostilities.